What we're going to be doing today is in absolutely insane. We're going to be going to every single indoor practice facility in Kansas City. Guys, he's, he's, he's put like seven putts and he's made like 18 of them. Think about the math. Trust me. I completely agree. 150,000%. Yeah, yeah. What do I do with this? <laughs> Is it focused on us, Tammy? I don't know. Tammy, give us give us some inside detail. Jim, what are we looking at? It looks focused to me, but I don't know. It's blinking green. Oh, we're, that's it. Well, we're done. Good afternoon. All right, so Jerry is currently on a conference call. This is Matt Sharp. You guys have met him on my Instagram. Hey, guys. Um, I'm happy to be a part of the Down and Dirty Yeah, Yeah, Yeah trickle in series. We're going to get it done today. Absolutely. Down and Dirty, episode four it is now. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this series. It sounded like Yoda there. What we're going to be doing today is in absolutely insane. We're going to be going to every single indoor practice facility in Kansas City, or at least we're going to try. I mean, there might be like five or six, but we're going to go to every single one and practice uh, at each one. I, w I really want to do this just to kind of like test which one is like my favorite. And then I'm going to give it an honest rating after we're done with hitting at every single indoor practice facility. I know you guys know that I like Golf MD. But, uh, you know, if one tops it in my personal opinion, then I'm going to say that in all honesty, right? Yeah, yeah. Honest opinions. Absolutely. Honest opinions get the job done. Absolutely. Unfortunately, none of the courses are even open. So maybe one day we're going to have to go to every single course in Kansas City. Dude, I'm telling you right now, talk about traveling inside of KC, jumping right in the heads of them. They're going to love it. Uh, all right, guys. So we're going to get the job done. Let's get it. Guys, I know how to I know how to drive a vehicle. See, Tammy knows too. Tam Cerrone over there knows. Yeah, I asked him if he knew how to drive the van. So we're going. He's gonna be the one who's driving the van. And there he goes. Good afternoon, folks. Why don't we jump right on into the action here today? We should probably get the clubs. That would probably help. So, as you can probably tell, we're at Golf MD. <laughs> that is the first stop for today. Golf MD. We're going to practice. Hit on track, man. I'm guessing for 20 to 30 minutes, and then we're going right on to the next one. I'm not really sure where we're going next, but this is going to be fun. Let's do a back flip check. Three, two, one. Into the action today. Woo. All right, as you can tell, walking through a door now. And we're back with some more commentary. By the way, guys, let me know if you do like this commentary voiceover when I'm hitting on the range or if I should just put music to the beat of me swinging. Let me know one or the other, a little bit of both. I'm not really sure, but I'm digging the commentary, so hopefully you guys are as well. And in this commentary or in this range session, I should say, I put both Matt and I's swings like every single shot. So I didn't take any shots out. Uh, I, I was obviously hitting the hybrid really well. As you can tell, uh, 1.52 on the smash factor with this one. Uh, I, I brought all of my clubs into Golf MD, which was one of the bonuses about Golf MD. I know the guys so well that they allow me to just bring my clubs in and hit balls in the track man. Unfortunately, they had some club fittings that had to be done. So we only got to hit for like 15 minutes here in Golf MD, but nonetheless, uh, a great place to hit balls. Job equals done. 1020 C. I don't even know what it is, but nonetheless, it probably gets the job done. That is a wrap for Golf MD. Wow, a lot of action, a lot of excitement in there. Are you kidding me? I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you, it was a lot of fun. We did some putts. I'm not sure if we're going to put it in there, but there's like a putt thing where like when you putt, the ball goes in the hole and it literally jumps right back into the action. Oh, Loving God. it. Uh, so stop number one is complete. Hopefully you enjoyed that little commentary and swing, voiceover, whatever. 
I don't know if you guys like that, but I like it, so we're gonna keep doing it. And then I don't really know our next stop, but before we go to our next Lunch? stop, we need to eat <laughs> some food. Yeah. Uh, all right, that's about it uh, for golf and D. Uh, we'll see you at lunchtime. All right, so they opened up a Wahlburgers here in Kansas City. It looks like that is where we're making the move. Hi. Good afternoon. Not really sure what is to get here. Neither do I. Wall. What burger? Oh. Whoa. Wow, wow, guys. This menu is looking good. I don't know what to get. Um, Mark Wahlberg is going to be our waiter, and uh, I'm kind of excited. Yeah, yeah. So this is kind of, kind of heavy. I mean, that's a bold strategy. I mean, there, there look is. at this thing. What is the strategy here, folks? Jump right on in. And we got the tater tots. You guys already know. Thank you. Mr. Wahlberg, Mr. Wahlberg was our waiter. It was clutch. Amazing. We have just gotten out of Wahlburgers, as you guys already know, and the next stop for golf practice is Golf Galaxy. And by the way, as you guys already know, I'm gonna rate all of these practice facilities uh, when we're done. Like, who gets first spot, second, third. I'm loving that idea. Garrett's gonna give some inside detail. Jim, we're gonna jump right into the action. And it's as simple as that. We just got out of Wally Burgers. Um, gonna send old Marky a DM saying that was probably the best place I've ever eaten. Probably not gonna get a response, but nonetheless, we're gonna get it done. Let's go jump into Golf Galaxy. Let's get some more swinging in and let's continue to get it done. Uh, actually, true story, guys. I was DMing Wahlberg. I was DMing Mark Wahlberg the other day. Never got a response, but nonetheless, off to Golf Galaxy right now. Let's get right into the action here at G -G Golf Galaxy. All right, so as you guys can tell, we have made it to Golf Galaxy. This is the second stop of, uh, I don't even know what we're calling this. It's Down and Dirty Daily episode four, but I don't know what, like, uh, we can do, we can call it practice facility hopping. Hashtag practice facility hopping. Hashtag job equals done. We're not bringing our clubs in because you're not actually really allowed to unless you're paying a bunch of money to hit golf balls on this simulator. So we're just going to hit some random clubs. Are we going to bring the big camera in? Let's bring it in. Let's get it done. You sure? Yeah, yeah. Are you sure? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Let's jump right in. Oh, God. What do I do? What do we get? Uh, How do I hold this normal? There's a tripod. What happens when they say it? What are you guys doing? You you talk. I'm holding the camera. All right, quick commentary here before Matt does some live commentary. I think I'm hitting the Big Bertha Callaway Old Driver. Not really sure the model or the year that this club was actually made, but nonetheless, I was hitting it pretty well, working on tempo yet again. Well, Jim, we're right back here at the 18th hole. Nobody knows quite how Garrett does it. Um, looks like he's lining up. He's got the driver in hand, 794 yard par five. Guys, look at the fit. I'm telling you right now, look at the fit. So he lines up a shot. He's going to make it in one because it's Garrett Clark and nobody does it better. Looks like he's lining up. He's laughing a little bit too much. I'm not sure <laughs> if he's going to be able to hit it. But nonetheless, we're going to line it up. It looks good. <laughs> And that is how the cookie crumbs looks. I'm also going to commentate some of Matt's swings. And as you can tell, he's hitting a 7-iron Apex MB Callaway right here. The compression factor there is yeah. about 3 million. Obviously, as you can tell, Matt is swinging extremely hard down the middle of the fairway, compressing that ball perfectly. Now onto the driver after hitting the Apex MB. Onto, I think this was like the M4 3-wood. Not a fan of the M-series, as you guys already know. But that three wood wasn't that bad, not gonna even lie. Guys, now Jim, that is what I'm talking about, a good swing. Right yeah, yeah, right in the middle, 490,000. <laughs> to the pin. He only hit a 130 yard drive. Let's get a closer look at the action. How, 
what, what do we have to say about Golf Galaxy? As you can just whisper. It's it's a it's a good it's a good place. I haven't been able to track any of my shots because the thing doesn't work. But nonetheless, we're we're getting the job done. First try. Looking like Tiger. We are walking out of Golf Galaxy <laughs> currently. And that is a wrap for Golf Galaxy and now we're jumping out of the action. Where are we going next? We gotta figure that out. We're not quite sure. Golf Galaxy is over. Uh, that was fun. We practiced a little bit. The simulator we were hitting on didn't really work, so that was not ideal. But nonetheless, we hit a bunch of different clubs. It was a lot of fun. So we didn't put 100% of the shots into the video that you guys saw, but we put as many as we could. Now we're going on to Edwin Watts. It's literally right across the street, and we're gonna get the job done over there. They actually have a track man, so it's gonna be fun. Woo! That's, that's gonna be spot number three. I mean, you see, you see, the, you see, the joke is, is I forgot to put it in park. So we've made it to Edwin Watts. We're about to walk in there, hit some Ooh. golf balls. They have trackmans in there. It's kind of a legendary thing over here. I, I don't know how they're gonna feel about us just bringing a camera in there. We're gonna do it nonetheless, and hopefully they don't get mad. If they do, we will obviously not record. But only thing left to say is, let's jump right into the action. We're going into Edwin Watts. This is actually where I, it's a great place to go. Edwin Watts. Dude, how legendary is this putter though? Wow. Garrett Clark ready to get the job done here at the 18th. Basically Adam Scott. Right? Basically Adam Scott. Looking good. Follow the ball, follow the ball. In the hole. That was actually first try. <laughs> first try again, technically second try. Let's follow the ball into the hole because that's exactly where it's going, Jim. Nobody knows how the kid does it. <gasps> Guys, it looks heck? like Garrett has found his new putter. Um, job equals done. Is he gonna make it? I mean, no doubt in my Dude, mind. Dude, this kid's good. The short putt, sorry. I'm telling you, I see a lot of control, Garrett. You don't jerk your stroke. Right. It like makes you soft, smooth. Tempo. Soft, smooth, silky smooth in the hole. No doubt about it. I mean, Guys, mate, this this is a down and dirty episode where we find Garrett a new putter. He's putting with a Callaway soft soccer ball chrome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Garrett, I'm telling you right. I need a new putter. Guys, he's, he's, he's putt like seven putts and he's made like 18 of them. Think about the math, trust me. Last one, camera work on point. Wow. Guys, we need to get him this putter. This is what? I am, it's absolutely tremendous. He's using the long Adam Scott putter, right? Two are preferred, gets the job done. He's made like eight putts in a row, I don't know. Might be the one. Might be the one. Pretty elaborate equipment you got there. Good inside detail, I'm loving it. I don't know how to press stop, Garrett. I don't know how to work <laughs> We're just this gonna thing. keep recording. We're just gonna keep recording. All right, so putting was a success. We're going to buy a new putter, $750, <laughs> first try. Uh, now on to hitting some golf balls, first try. I can't believe, guys, the putting, insane. I mean, we got some inside detail on, 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 on camera work. We got, we got. Well guys, let's dive right into Edwin Watts range session here. I start on track man, but about four swings in, they tell me I got to go over to the flight scope because they got to do a club fitting. Not too disappointed though, because honestly, the numbers are not that much different between flight scope and track man. I've hit on both and there are a lot of similarities and they both read the ball very well. Track man's just a tiny bit better with some different types of uh, readings and numbers. So as you can tell, I think I'm hitting like a four iron here. I, I don't know exactly what club it was, but I really did hit it well in this range session. I believe Matt hit it pretty well as, as well. As you see, I don't even know grammar. I'm telling you right now, don't even know how to talk. Matt just laughed there because we were playing some distraction game. Boom. All right, so that is it for Edwin Watts. What a time, what a time, what a time. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, we'll see you guys in the car. Oh, wow. Guys, welcome back. Water sip time. The car has been started. What can we say? What can we say? Edwin Watts Golf. It was it was fun. We had some uh, the the tracers and everything. Kind of trace our balls around. Me and him both tried the new Cobra um, K7 GB34. <laughs> What's the name of it? I don't know. The 36 7000. And I'm not gonna That's lie, it didn't go very far. So wasn't a huge fan. Nonetheless, we got the job done. I'm not really sure where we're going next. Um, we don't really know where else there is to go. Guys, tell us right now. Yeah. <laughs> guys, come on, tell us. We'll wait. All right, we All right, didn't get a response. Okay, we're gonna try and make it to Top Golf, but other than that, I don't really know where we can go. Yeah, we've been to Golf Galaxy, Edwin Watts Golf, we've been to Golf MD, and we can't go to the Martin City Golf Complex because it's super, it's far, away. super far away and it's also outdoors. You can hit indoors. We're not gonna get into details, um, but I have no idea where else we can go, man. Besides Top Golf, I mean, that's. Do you want to jump in Top Golf? We might have to jump into Top Golf, check and see who's around, like what is life right now. This is a bit crazy, but. 
nonetheless we've been out and about yeah. since 10 30 and it's currently 2 30 so you guys do the math that's like 17 hours only other place we can honestly go Smiley. is top golf so we're gonna finish it at top golf or at least we're gonna try we're gonna see what we can do see what happens that way i love that plan 150 percent let's jump right in the action <laughs> Oh, let's jump right into the action here at Top Golf. Okay, so we've made it to Top Golf, as you guys can already tell. Uh, apparently, so the last time I was here, Down Dirty Daily episode three, as you guys saw, they did an interview with me, and then they were like wanted to work with me. They wanted to like not going to give the exact details, but the three people I was supposed to talk to if I wanted to try and like negotiate something was Rich, Jared, or Jason. J Jason. Jason Bourne. Yeah, Jason. Hi. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go in there. See what happens. I, they, at this Top Golf has told me to just go, boom, like forty times. We're being dead honest here. Here at Top Golf, we're gonna go jump into the action, and then, uh, and we're gonna get the job done that way. What do you guys say? Give, tell me, guys, right now. Tell me right now. Okay, looks like we're on our own. Let's jump right into the action. Okay, so Rich, Jason, Jared. Rich, Jason, Jared. Okay, we're walking into Top Golf here. Matthew, it's his first time ever being to Top Golf, and. We yeah. might not even be able to play. Okay, so we're just gonna hope for the best. A little nervous, guys. I'm walking up the steps now. <laughs> uh, hate it. Absolutely hate it. Uh, job equals not done. Uh, so bad news and bad news. Bad news. All right, so we go in there. Story time with GM underscore underscore golf. I love it. Um, not my best first experience. Not his best first experience, but nonetheless. But nonetheless, no the job first. No, the job did not get done. This is the first time we've had to say this, but the jo jo the job did not get done here today. Um, we went in there looking good, feeling good. I goes in and talks to this one go you know old guy in there, and, and he's like, oh well, what's this for? And blah blah blah. I go in there and I'm just talking to this dude, and he just looks disgusted, like, and I'm I'm just like, uh, I you know like I was told to come in here like i was told to come talk to one of these four names uh, it's, it's like i made it clear that i'm not coming to get anything out of you dude like this isn't my like i i want to come play golf obviously but i was literally told to come back in here and talk to one of these people but he's like oh and i'm you know whatever but he gets another guy brian who was younger brian was really nice shout out to brian unfortunately jared and jason were both in meeting you know i gave him my contact they're gonna text me hopefully but man that that first guy i talked to he was just not ideal but, not ideal i was not very very happy with my first experience here at Top Golf. Um, but Brian, absolutely. Brian was super nice. Like Brian right. got the job done. This other guy, even if you don't think so, in this world, guys, yeah. act like you're interested, act like you care, even if you don't care. Uh, unless it's just like totally absurd. But I was just saying, hey man, like I need to come back. I like I, I was told to come back in here if I could just, you know, this, this, and that. And it's just, you know, he was very disrespectful of what I was, you know, requesting or talking about. And they weren't even busy. So, it was just one of those moments that like you got to be careful about your customer service and okay. about how you look the way he was acting was very you know so i had a simple request whatever and i was yeah wow i literally couldn't agree anymore he said it perfectly if yeah it shouldn't be guys it shouldn't be that hard to, to act you know this, the, the biggest thing with me is he had absolutely no idea unfortunately some people are like that in this world and you got to continue to grind and continue to get the job done uh nonetheless guys yeah i guess i guess we're gonna have to go home and figure something out the vlog is not over. We're oh. at Quick Trip, if you guys can already tell Good the vlog's evening. evening. The vlog is not over, so. <laughs> Still a little disappointed about the top goals. I really wanted to play. Literally getting it done. Are we recording? Yeah, we're recording. Oh, that's embarrassing. Wow, um, guys. Oh, wow, it's been one heck of a day. Um, he's got his tater tots. Nobody knows quite how he's gonna do it. One just like that. We had a lot of fun experiences today. Um, you know, of course, started with Golf MD. We got the job done there. Didn't have a lot of time in there. They had a bunch of people coming in, but uh, we still got some swings um, and putted on their little expensive putting machine, which is, I'm still memorized by that. It's amazing. And then we jumped right into uh, Golf Galaxy. And we got the job done in there. Um, you know, it was open mats, and you just jump right into the action. Got a lot of swings, and then we finished right into uh... Edwin Watts was the finisher. We went to Top Golf after that, and uh, you guys already know what happened with that thing yeah. with Robert Jigger thing. You know what I'm saying. But with Edwin Watts, it was actually pretty cool. It's like a spacious store. Uh, yeah. 
I didn't get to show all of it on camera, but it was actually a pretty cool store. As far as my rating goes, I'm gonna go Golf MD because both their stalls have TrackMan, and I'm really good friends with the people there, obviously, so I might be a little biased, but Golf MD, Edwin Watts, Golf Galaxy. Um, I think Top Golf would have definitely been above Golf Galaxy by a mile, though. I agree completely with that. Was that your order? Yeah, I like. I and for me, I've never been to Golf MD, but just hitting on their thing, their tracer, it was it was really cool. Some good technology in there. Um, yeah, chuck it at the camera, see if you make it. <laughs> yeah, Edwin Watts, I'm a big fan of Edwin Watts. It's where I got my, like I said, uh, re-gripping done. They're very friendly in there. I don't know if we're gonna put the skit in there, but we recorded a skit with the lady talking about cameras and stuff. That was awesome. Um, yeah, they're just super friendly. Love to get involved, love to interact into the action. Um, and then of course, you know, Ga Golf Galaxy is, yeah, it's all right. I just really wish I could have gone to Golf, guys. Not gonna lie, first try, extra fries, 30% mashed potatoes. We didn't get the job done there, but uh, I'm sure I'm sure we'll get involved again. Absolutely. Uh, I told Matt to take over this outro. Actually, I didn't tell him to. I just kind of told him to. And so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. It's just a kind of a long vlog. I would assume it's about a million hours long. So uh, nonetheless, we got the job done. We did three different locations. I know it probably isn't every single spot in Kansas City like the title shows, but hopefully you still enjoyed the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to stay tuned for the next one. Until next time, make sure to drop a down, comment down below. <laughs> drop a <laughs> uh, below. Comment down below. Let, let, us, let me know down a dirty series, suggestions, whatever. I want to talk in the comments below. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I want to hear some some comments as well. Let us know what you guys think of Wahlburgers, too. Here, try a tater tot. <laughs> you guys see the joke because you can't try them because you're in the camera. Okay, um, Tammy, you got anything? <laughs> no. All right, Tammy doesn't have anything Job to say, so. Job done. I mean, that's it. I think. I feel like we got to say something. I don't know. Glory me. Don't you know? Don't you know?